Right, people, good morning. This is Marilee Myers, your blogger from Alma Grove. I'm round and about in Peckham, where I'll start my review of the past years of systematic discrimination that has traumatized my husband and I to the point where I became suicidal. <laughs> Over there, Garrett James is the place where the young man in there had volunteered to collect my husband's medication when the pharmacy was playing up. And I'm going to be walking past the pharmacy. It's been taken over by new management and probably owners. And so far, I have not had any complaints to make about the service I'm not keeping them long people I'm just gonna walk past the police vehicle is there going and I will have lots to say about police and their treatment of me and my husband I'm walking past here because this is Chadwick Road where my husband's surgery is located all the way up there and that's where we had walked from on the 19th of October. Yeah, he was so tired, he had to sit on rest. And we went into Santander and they have him standing at the counter for ages. And after he left out there, just across the road from Santander to the bus stop, everything passports money marriage certificate everything went and santander is still playing the fool i've just found some documentation of the complaints in 2019 that i had put in about santander soon after the crime was committed that's when santander sent me the card and then afterward, I'm being flooded with email. And where was this email from? My transaction with Santander when we had savings. So it's my B, um, BT internet email address. That proves Santander has my data sitting on it. Yeah, so they know exactly who I am. Now I'm going down to, Bel to Elim House. To do my final um, recording. <laughs> 